Hello? It's been a while, I know. I know I always say that, and I'm always gone, but hello. Here I am, trying to pick myself up and restarting again. It's Tony Tony. <laughs> How are you, friends? I hope you're doing good despite the current situation. What have I been up to lately? Well, for the past six or seven months, I've mostly been practicing how to sing, how to draw, how to play the piano, watching a bunch of TikTok videos, YouTube videos, Netflix movies, and I've also been eating <laughs> a lot. I used to long for the days where I can work from home and not leave the house all day. I never really knew that some part of me actually enjoyed my daily commute, even though I'd have to wake up at 5 a.m. to get to the office by 7 a.m. and leave the office by 6 or 7 p.m. to get home by 9 p.m. At the beginning of all of this, sometime around mid-March, I was so excited knowing that I could possibly be at home for more than a month, tops. My immediate thought was yes. I finally have time for myself to do the things that I want to do. And true, for a short while I did. But when June came, and I was still working from home, and a lot of things were going on in my head, this wasn't what I thought working from home would be like. Thankfully, there are a lot of people who are very supportive helped me try to fix things along the way. It's now October, and I realize that there are a lot of things I learned during my time at home. First and foremost, it's important to set boundaries for yourself. May it be personal, emotional, or work boundaries, set them. crying fit is about to happen. I don't know how you would cope, but what I usually like to do is be alone in my room in complete silence, cry it out with a huge bottle of water beside my bed and a box of sweets to eat after bawling my eyes out, and of course a roll of tissue. It's also important to create your own routine. Seeing as I work from home, I've kind of set up my own routine from morning to evening. It's so important to eat healthy meals. At the start of the quarantine, I enjoyed all the food I could eat, ordering from different fast food places and other food places from the village. But I realized that there's always food on the table, and I'm lucky enough for that, and I'm really fortunate. And this is usually healthier than the food I'd be buying. So, sorry McDonald's. Another thing that I've recently gotten into, well I mean, because I had to, <laughs> is stocking up on vitamins. I think my body is so used to being able to move around and being exposed to so much sunlight that when I started being at home for a prolonged period, my body kind of decided that it needed more vitamins. <laughs> As someone with anemia, sometimes my nervous system kind of struggles. I get these really weird tingling sensations in my arms, so I had to buy some vitamin B12. It's really helped a lot. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay too. I know times like these are tough on everyone, but I hope you also have an outlet for all your thoughts and emotions. I can't wait until this is all over and we can pick things up where we left off and restart again.